Hello, Finance Home Front viewers. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate your support. If you find this content helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you won't miss any updates. Just a quick reminder, I'm here to share insights and information, but I'm not offering financial advice. So with that in mind, let's dive into today's topic, the SEC's approach to cryptocurrency and the ripple effects it's having across the industry. In recent years, the landscape of financial markets has expanded to include the evolving domain of cryptocurrency. This digital asset class has captivated investors and regulators alike, prompting a complex web of oversight and policy approaches. Among the chief entities responsible for regulating these markets is the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. However, the SEC's handling of cryptocurrency has sparked substantial controversy, with some insiders acknowledging that the current strategy has significantly hindered the industry's growth and innovation. In a recent interview on Mornings with Maria, Mark Uyeda, a commissioner of the SEC, expressed grave concerns about the agency's regulatory approach toward cryptocurrency. Uyeda characterized the SEC's actions over the past several years as having created a disaster for the whole industry. He elaborated by pointing to a lack of constructive guidance from the agency, which has instead leaned heavily on enforcement actions to set policy. We have relied on a policy through enforcement approach, which has done little to clarify the rules, Uyeda noted. Consequently, the courts have become the arbiters, issuing varying rulings and interpretations. This inconsistency, he argued, has left the industry in a state of disarray, with companies facing unclear regulations and unpredictable enforcement actions. The confusion and frustration have culminated in direct confrontations with the SEC. Most recently, the digital currency trading platform Crypto.com filed a lawsuit against the agency. Crypto.com is a popular cryptocurrency platform that provides a range of services for buying, selling, and managing digital assets. Founded in 2016, Crypto.com aims to accelerate the adoption of cryptocurrency worldwide by offering user-friendly tools for both beginners and experienced traders. The platform includes an exchange for trading a wide variety of cryptocurrencies, a mobile wallet app, and a Visa debit card that allows users to spend their crypto in everyday transactions. In addition to trading, Crypto.com offers features such as staking, where users can earn rewards by locking up certain digital assets and decentralized finance DeFi services that enable users to earn interest on their holdings. The platform also has a native token known as CRO, which is used to power transactions and provide benefits like reduced trading fees and higher staking rewards. Crypto.com places a strong emphasis on security, employing measures like multi-factor authentication and insurance coverage for digital assets held on the platform. With its broad range of services and commitment to making crypto accessible, Crypto.com has become one of the leading players in the digital asset space. The platform alleges that the SEC has exceeded its legal authority by unilaterally imposing regulations on the cryptocurrency industry. Crypto.com's legal action follows its receipt of a Wells Notice, an official notification indicating that SEC staff intend to recommend an enforcement action based on the assertion that specific digital tokens are classified as securities. The lawsuit argues that the SEC has overstepped its statutory jurisdiction by imposing an expansive rule that nearly all digital tokens qualify as securities. This, according to Crypto.com, constitutes an unlawful encroachment on the industry. Uyeda declined to comment specifically on the litigation, but acknowledged that the suit is part of a larger trend of dissatisfaction with the SEC's perceived regulatory overreach. Without interpretive guidance on what constitutes a securities offering and how entities involved in such offerings should comply with registration requirements, our actions have led to broader frustration across the industry, Uyeda stated. He suggested that the SEC's lack of clarity has compelled companies to engage in litigation 
to defend their operations and business models. Crypto.com's lawsuit is not an isolated case. Just four months earlier, the cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase initiated its own legal battle against the SEC, as well as the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC. Coinbase's lawsuit seeks documentation that would reveal how these agencies are developing their regulatory stance on cryptocurrency. According to Coinbase, there appears to be a deliberate and concerted effort by the SEC, FDIC, and other regulatory bodies to pressure financial institutions into severing ties with cryptocurrency firms, thereby denying these firms access to the federal banking system. Some industry analysts have voiced their concerns that regulatory bodies are attempting to stifle innovation in the digital currency space. Beth Kindig, the lead technology analyst at IO Fund, commented on this dynamic, suggesting that the government's approach appears to be aimed at undermining the industry's progress by indirect means. Kindig's remarks reflect a broader sentiment that cryptocurrency firms are being singled out and marginalized by regulatory actions that inhibit their ability to operate freely. Uyeda addressed this perception by suggesting that pro-cryptocurrency advocates are, in some cases, fighting for issues that do not directly impact financial stability or investment value. These are concerns that don't affect the fundamental valuation of these enterprises, he explained. It seems as though some believe they can achieve social change through regulatory bodies, rather than through legislative processes. This approach, however, bypasses the traditional channels of Congress and regulation. Looking forward, Uyeda acknowledged the need for the SEC to rethink its strategy. He proposed that the agency develop a clearer framework that delineates which aspects of cryptocurrency fall within the scope of securities laws and which do not. According to Uyeda, such guidance is essential to enable informed discussions and facilitate compliance. We need a foundation to begin these discussions. Without knowing what qualifies as a security and what doesn't, it's impossible to create a coherent regulatory structure, he explained. Uyeda also underscored the importance of establishing a pathway for broker-dealers and exchanges to handle these assets within a defined regulatory framework. Concerns over the SEC's approach have also been raised in Congress. A group of Republican lawmakers sent a letter to SEC Chairman Gary Gensler expressing their apprehension about what they describe as an overreach by the agency. The legislators argue that the SEC has been attempting to categorize various digital asset distributions, such as airdrops, as unregistered securities. This move, they contend, amounts to a regulatory power grab that could inhibit the development of the cryptocurrency market. Overall, the SEC's handling of cryptocurrency regulation has become a flashpoint in the broader debate over the role of government in emerging financial markets. While some officials within the agency, like Uyeda, are calling for a more transparent and structured approach, others within the regulatory landscape appear committed to a more aggressive stance. As the industry continues to evolve, the SEC's approach will likely remain a contentious issue with significant implications for both the future of cryptocurrency and the broader financial sector. Thanks for sticking around, Finance Home Front viewers. The SEC's approach to crypto is definitely sparking a lot of debate, and it will be interesting to see how things unfold. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on all things finance, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Your support really helps the channel grow. Until next time, stay informed and stay empowered.